Now I'm gonna introduce you to a technique that I use on the cajon all the time, and, uh, and I've kind of called it the bass roll because I, I normally use it on the bass tone and it's kind of a rolling motion with my hands. So it's kind of similar to, I guess, what they call the molar technique in drumming where what we're actually doing is we're using one movement or one burst of energy to create two hits. And, and that's really, really great for really utilizing our, our force and, and our body's movement to create more hits in a shorter space of time. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the technique. And, and essentially what it is, is my hand comes down for a bass tone hit. And then just after I hit, my fingers come up and I tap the bass tone with the end of my fingers. So essentially this is the bass roll. And if you put that into kind of a triplet where I put in a, a slap tone on my left hand, it sounds like this. So it's really useful if, if I'm playing a groove, like say I play a funk groove. So I'm getting that nice funky bass drum there on the bass tone. And I'm not having to go where I'm actually making three different motions with my arm. I'm only making two motions with my arm because one of those hits is on the upswing there of my hand on the bass roll. So you can see it's a really useful technique to get to play. So I'm gonna show you this simple exercise and I use it mostly with my right hand because that's just, I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, you might find that you're gonna use it more on your left hand. So, but this exercise is gonna focus on both. Um, so we're just gonna play a triplet, one, two, three. going from hand to hand. And I will also practice just using my right hand just to really refine the speed there. So there's the bass roll, get after that one. That is a fantastic technique to use on the cajon. Definitely something you're gonna wanna make part of your practice routine.